Hello everyone and welcome to a long-awaited XY Chronicles. I don't even make videos anymore because I don't have an editing software, so sorry. And it's funny because I used to stress so much on editing videos and why it was important, but now I don't even edit my videos because I can't. Makes me very upset. But I feel that it is important because a lot of vloggers don't edit their vlogs and a lot of people don't edit their videos and they're still successful, so whatever. So I won't be able to make my funny content as much anymore until I find an editing program where I'm willing to throw down some cash on some editing programs, which, by the way, cash is, it doesn't exist. So I've thought about selling my body, um, just like my body parts, actually. There's quite a few that I would love to part with. So, if anyone's up for buying, hit me up. So, I have been uh, going through really shitty times lately, and it's not because of anything in particular. I think it's just a whole bunch of things, just all, all at once. Um, I went to a concert. I'm, I'm going to talk about good things first, because they're important. I went to a concert, the uh, Future Hearts tour with All Time Low, Issues, Tiny Live. And state champs, that's who they are. Um, I enjoyed it thoroughly. It was nice, although I got dropped on by a whole bunch of heavy crowd surfers. I did get to meet All Time Low again. They're cool dudes. I love them. Um, shout outs to you guys. But that's about the only good thing that's happened to me for a time. Hmm. Um, I've just been going through so many things right now that I don't even know which way is up anymore. I feel like I'm drowning, and it's not fun. So I just kind of wanted to talk about this XY Chronicles. I want to talk about dysphoria because I've been experiencing a lot of dysphoric feelings lately. If you don't know, dysphoria is where you feel really shitty because you're not as transitioned as you would like to be. Um, Dysphoria doesn't always affect people um, as much as. Wow, I worded that wrong. Dysphoria doesn't affect everyone the same. Some people can go through a day without feeling dysphoric, even if someone slips up on pronouns or or uh, someone mistakes them for the incorrect gender or something like that. Sometimes they can just play it off and keep it cool and not have feelings of dysphoria. Um, sometimes it's not the, that's not the case and it's a problem. For me, since I have not started testosterone yet, I don't know when I'm going to start testosterone because I don't have the money or the therapist to diagnose me. Diagnose? Yeah, prescribe me with testosterone, diagnose, I don't even know what I was going to say, diagnose me with the need for testosterone, I guess I was going to say, I don't even fucking know, um, but I don't have the money for that, I don't have the money for the hormones themselves, I don't have money for consultation, I don't have money, I don't have money at all, and some of you may be saying, Vic, you have a job, yes I have a job, but I also have to pay for my phone, for my car, for my car insurance, for gas, for my life, I eat, I am a human. And so it's almost like I have decisions to make, and I hate being an adult because of this, but I have decisions to make. Either I get my hormones and my therapy, I move out and get a place, I get a new car, or I just keep saving. And saving is such a long process, and I think my problem is I didn't identify as transgender for so long, but I've been transgender my whole life. And, um, it's like this, this, uh, identity switch has got me so impatient. All of a sudden I want everything to be done, and it's not. I want to wake up tomorrow, and I want to have male anatomy, and I want to have a deep voice, and I want to have facial hair, and I want to pass as male, because I am a male, and I can't have that. My family, 
my mom has been trying, but every morning when you're woken up with female pronouns and your full name, it's discouraging. That's another thing I can't do. I can't change my name because I don't have the money. Like, I feel like I'm trapped. I feel like a child again. And my childhood was not fun. I feel... I feel like I'm losing my mind. And my friends are trying to understand, but they can't. They don't understand. Like, it's so hard to explain to people, especially cis people. I mean, no offense, but it's hard to explain to cis people how it is to be trans, like, and they want to say, I understand, I get you, I got it, yeah, no, you don't, like, I'm sorry, I, I really appreciate your support, but you don't get it, you don't understand, and sometimes the best support is keeping your mouth shut and just standing by me, but some people just don't know how to do that, and it's frustrating, and I'm not talking about anyone in particular, that's another thing I've got a problem with, is I don't want to step on anybody's toes through this transition, I don't want to make enemies, but stuff's just happening so fast and things are going on and I have no control over them and I hate not being in control. I love being in control of situations. It's, it's, it's very reassuring and I have no control over anything that's going on in my life right now. And this smile is fake as fuck because I want to just break down and cry. Just kill myself. I'd love to do that. But I can't because I have other obligations, and, uh, there's people watching. There's people watching me, and I feel like I have a heavy influence on a lot of people that are watching me. Not just YouTube, but just in life, in, on, on social media. People are watching, and they're watching me fucking fail <laughs> at this entire thing. And it's like going through a transition should be a happy, positive time, but... All my fellow trans peers would agree that it's not a happy, easy, fun time. It's so hard, and it's so it's so difficult because you're constantly worrying about passing, and you're also constantly worrying about people slipping up and using the wrong name or the wrong pronouns. Like I went out to eat, and my mom, I feel like I was passing really well because my new binder came in the mail today, and I put it on, and I had it on, and I was. I felt so confident. I had my posture was was better. I was walking tall, proud. Had my uh, peacock on and everything. I was I was ready. And my mom was like, she would like some more tea. And I was like, the fuck, mom? Like, pretty sure this whole entire place was like male. And now they're like, oh, female. And it's just like, god. Damn. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I haven't been posting. I'm sorry I haven't been updating you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm struggling. I'm struggling. And, uh, thinking about starting a GoFundMe, I'm thinking about finally breaking down and starting a fucking GoFundMe. And I hate... I hate doing that because I hate asking for money. I hate asking for funds. I hate asking for help. But I need help. And... I'm just gonna put it up there, I'm gonna throw it out there that it's there. It's to help with my transition strictly. That's what it's for. I'm not gonna use that money for anything but my transition. Because I have a job, I make money, and I can I can do other things with it. But it's just the transition, that's the most important thing to me. And that's what I want done, but I can't afford it. And that's why I'm just like freaking out. I don't care! Joe, I just wanted some background music. So he takes his work everywhere. Okay, so anyway, sorry. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe. It's stupid, I know, but if you I hate asking, I hate asking. So just there it is. I'm starting a GoFundMe for my transition. That's what that's all I'm gonna say about it. Um, other things include, I, I got my new binder, it's from, G it's from a website, hold on, I can't, I literally cannot, like, edit, I'm sorry.
GC2B chest binder. It's, um, I'll put a link below. Go to their website. If you're looking for a good binder, go to their website. Seriously, get their, get their, whatever, everything. They have great binders. Um, make sure you measure your chest and everything with a tape measure to see your, um, your measurements because they are American sizing, so they're very accurate. Um, I got mine today, and I felt like I was putting on a corset. I was like, and then when I finally got it on, I was like, oh my god, I have pecs, and it's great. So, I'll put a link below to them. Go support them. They're trying to get, like, off the ground, I think. Or at least in their emails, they were, like, saying something like that. So, go help them. Um, they have great binders. The material's comfy. It's very breathable um, once you get it over your head. Which, I get. I have a big head, so maybe that was my problem. And I have broad shoulders, so maybe that was my other problem. But I got... I got a medium because I'm 36 inches. I'm sure you guys wanted to know that. I don't even care anymore. Whatever. Internet. So, uh... So it's like the measurement for medium was like 34 to 36 inches. And then it was like large, 36 to 38 or something like that. So I just got a medium because I was like, whatever. I'm at the top of that. But I want it to be tight. And it is tight, but it, it works perfectly. It binds. So I'm going to use my other binder for swimming. Um, I actually went to Kohl's and got a uh, surf... It's like a surf swim shirt. It's like the material of um, like a wetsuit, kind of. It's not as tight, but it's, it's, it's tight. It's like a t-shirt. Um, I'm going to wear my old binder under that. It constricts, but not as good as the GC2B one. Um, it, it constricts, though. Um, so, I'm going to use that and put that swim sh shirt over me, because the swim shirt obviously isn't a binder, it's not tight enough to constrict, and, you know, it doesn't constrict enough, so I'm going to wear that, and, uh, swim trunks, that's, like, swimwear for summer, it's an idea, um, I found it online, because I was really, like, I was really insecure, because I love swimming, I love the beach, I love summer, uh, well, I mean, summer's not my favorite, but I love swimming, so you can only swim during the summer, really. So, uh, I was really paranoid and, and insecure about swimming, and I was like, oh, man, I wish I had just... Because I don't want to swim in just, like, a t-shirt, because then I just look, like, you know, ridiculous. And I want to get, you know, I want to get a tan. So, I was like, well, what what's the options? And that was a really cool option that I saw, you know, was the the surf shirt or, the, like, the swim shirt or whatever that's supposed to be for water. And then you got, like, you know, trunks. So I'm doing that. I'm not sure if I'm going to pack while I have my trunks on and everything. I mean, I can. It's not a problem. It's just I don't know if I'm going to swim with him yet. I still haven't named him. I was thinking Peter for laughs, but, you know. So, I'm sorry this video is long. Once again, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it probably a million more times. I can't edit. So, there's that. So, don't criticize me. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Swimming. I covered that. New binder. Dysphoria. Oh. I, I never really, like, talked about dysphoria. I just explained what it was. Um, I've been really struggling with dysphoria lately, and uh, I would really just love to beat it, but it's, it, like, my anxiety is impossible to beat. I can't get a hold on it. I can't figure out how to go in or around it. That sounds sexual. I can't figure out how to, how to just simmer down my emotions of dysphoria. Um, speaking of emotions, also, I'm, I'm letting my emotions run rampant, because right now I'm very depressed, and I'm very sad, and I'm very hopelessly hopeless. Fall play reference for you. Um, and I can't seem to, I can't seem to pick myself up off the floor and no one is really able to help me because I know that I'm the only one who can fix myself. I'm not trying to lean on anybody this time because I've been depressed before. I don't think I've ever beaten it, but it's kind of gone into remission, if you will, not to, uh, not to uh, make light of terminal illness, but I think mental illness should be identified as a terminal illness because it can kill you. So whenever my depression has gone into remission, I've been fine. But every time it's come back, I've leaned heavily on someone. And that's fucked up. And I should not do that. 
So now, I think growing up a little bit, I've come to the conclusion that whenever depression does strike and rear its ugly, ugly head, that I'm going to fight it by myself. And that may sound ridiculous because you can't, you can't beat depression easily, but I don't want to push it on anybody else. I don't want to drag anybody else down. I have support systems set up, but I don't want to drag them into this shit, so I'm not going to do it. I refuse. But, that being said, my dysphoria has really been bothering me lately. can't really help that I get mistaken at my job for female, because I'm in the drive through over the speaker, it could be perceived as a female's voice, but I've been trying to talk with a deeper voice. And I've been trying to come up with ideas of how to tell people that I prefer male pronouns without seeming rude. And I uh, haven't come up with anything yet because anything over a headset and a drive through speaker can be perceived as rude. Just like order whenever you're ready can be perceived as rude, but it's not rude. It's a statement. Anyway, I think that's about all I really wanted to cover. Um, I think that just, I've got to work on understanding for myself that I know I'm male, and my closest friends know I'm male, and most of my coworkers understand that I'm male, and I identify as male, and they use male pronouns, and that's what matters. Not everyone is going to understand, and not everyone is going to acknowledge, and I just need to ignore that. But, it's easier said than done. So yeah, that's my update. Uh, sorry it was so scattered, and I vaguely hit multiple heavy topics, but that's what's been on my mind lately. And I hope you guys can forgive me for being absent throughout things, because, let's face it, Nothing distracts me anymore. And YouTube used to be one of those distractions, but now I just can't seem to get a handle on anything. Music doesn't help. Writing doesn't help. Reading doesn't help. Tumblr doesn't help. God, Tumblr definitely doesn't help. I mean, Tumblr is full of idiots. Twitter doesn't help. Facebook doesn't help. People don't help. And I'm afraid. I'm really scared. But, I'm a fighter, right? That's what I keep telling myself. We'll see. Bye, guys.